everyone, this is Bethany with the Lexington Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy DIY memo board. I know a lot of us are working from home right now or doing school at home and this is just a fun craft that you can do to help you stay organized. We will have some take home kits available in the um, mini branch right next to the Lexington Library while we're still working on remodeling. So you're welcome to pick those up or if you have these supplies on hand at home then you can just use those to make it. Okay, so in your kit, you'll have a little photo frame. It's five by seven inches. If you're doing this at home with your own supplies, any size photo frame will work. Just pick one that works for how big a memo board you want to use. You'll also have um, some stickers, post-it notes, um, different things for decorating your memo board. And I also included some paint samples. I like to use these because they are really cool gradient colors. You can cut out the squares and use those as part of your layout if you like. Um, none of those are required. There's also a little piece of velcro that we'll use to attach the marker to the board. You'll want a pair of scissors and any coloring utensils, markers, crayons, colored pencils, um, extra stickers, anything like that that you might want to use to decorate it. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to just cut a base for your board. So I have some plain white paper. You can use colored paper if you prefer or decorated scrapbook paper, anything like that. And I'm going to open up the back of the photo frame. And I'm just going to take out the little filler paper from the frame and use that, that as a guide to cut out the right size paper for my backing. So I'll just line it up here and cut it out. Okay, so that will give me a piece of white paper just the right size to fit in the photo frame. And this is where you're going to plan out your layout. So you can do anything you want for your memo board. You can use your memo board for whatever you like. If you want to have a to-do list, if you want to have a meal planning set up, um, different days of the week on there, however you want to set it up for whatever you want to use it for is fine. I did include some templates you can use if you'd prefer to do that. So there's one for meal planning. So you could write like tacos, spaghetti, whatever you're eating for the week and put it up on the fridge so everyone knows what's coming for the week. Um, or you can make a little homework planner or check off that you've done your homework each day. Or you can just make it a shopping list and have it available for everyone to write, oh we're out of paper towels, oh we need more milk, whatever you want to pick up at the store next time you go. Just a basic to-do list or a monthly calendar which you can use. You would just circle whatever month you're on each month when you use it and it's reusable. You can write in the numbers of the dates there um, and then you can use it throughout the year. So you're welcome to use those or design your own. If you want to design your own, um, you can just use colored pencils, markers to draw on it. Usually put a title at the top. Um, and then I like to use either post-its to make little sections. So you can just peel and stick those right on. Um, or if you want to use the paint chips, then you can cut those out to kind of section off your grid for your memo board that way. And then these you can just glue on with a glue stick. And then once you have your layout how you like it, I have one I made here for just my top three tasks of the week. So I'll show you that. You can situate everything on there, use your stickers, add whatever you like to it, draw on it, decorate it how you like. So this is a really basic one. I just used the paint chips, glued them on there, made a little title, drew some little decorative things, and put little squares for me to check off with the memo board when I use it. So once you have your layout how you like it, then you're ready to put it in the frame. Just like you're framing a picture, you'll just set it in there and put the back on. And these are nice because you can hang them on the wall with these little loops um, or you can just set it on your desk like a photo with the little stand. 
So you can just press these in to hold the back on and then you'll flip it over. So there's my little memo board and it's almost done. So the next step is just to make it easy for you to keep your marker with your board. Um, so that's what the Velcro is for. So there's two sides and these are just peel and stick. So you'll just pick one off of there and stick it onto your marker wherever you'd like it to sit and then you'll peel off the other side. It doesn't matter which side goes on which because they'll still stick together and you can put it you know either on the bottom or the side however you want it. I'm going to put this one on the side here and that way you can have your marker nice and handy to use with your board whenever you um, want to use it. So since you have the glass cover on the photo frame you can write right on there with the dry erase marker. You could also use like a wet erase marker. You just would need a wet towel or something to erase it when you're ready. And then you can write whatever your memos or tasks or note to self or whatever you want to use the board for. So you can just write directly on it. And use these little check boxes to check off when you've completed a task. So that's just a fun way to stay organized, stay on top of things. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So if you want to share a picture in our um, on our Facebook page, um, we'd love to see what you make.